So now I'm going to scroll out here and we're going to work on the bug body. Push this up a little bit. And I like the look of that green. So I'm going to mix up some green. Have some wash. And kind of add green here and there to Mr. Bug. I, green is not going to be his final color, but I sort of liked it when I added it to the head. So, again, the secret to a cohesive painting is to add your color a little bit everywhere. So, now I'm going to come in and do the same thing I did for the face. Add sort of um, the detail shading. Let's see if I can't make Let's just do this. It's like a, a jumper there. <laughs> I'm using again a regular color pencil for this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna redraw these to kind of give them dimension by rounding them on the sides. Having a little shading between as if they're dimensional. It's really hard to keep a dialogue going when you're getting in the zone of drawing. So at some point, we're going to speed this up so you can see how I finish it without having to watch every painful detail. I can still see those little circles underneath there. When I prepared this page, I also made some scraffito marks in the in the um, absorbent ground, so that I would have some little areas where watercolor might pool. So figure. The highlight will be on the top here since the light's coming this way. And I think I've made the decision to tone down those bold black marks. So the way you do that is put a wash over it. Push it back. And then I'll come back in with pencil and redraw them, but they'll be more subtle. Okay. Go 
I'll use a green pencil since we've got the green going on there. Uh, I love the way the pencils go on and add more color. See, I'm not really going for accuracy here. I think I might make this like a blue purple color in the end. And what's nice is if you kind of have an idea where you're going with the color, if you layer opposite colors and let them dry, you'll get so much more depth to your drawings. Sort of an apple green, I think. Apple green color. Come in with the blue or black. We add my shading. You can see that the pen marks are gone. They're just looking like more shading, which I like. Sort of rounding the ribs, I guess you call them. I don't. There's probably a technical name, I'm sure, but the bug ribs. He's pretty freaky. Kind of like him. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do now. Let's add a little more highlighting, and then I'm going to try out the purple. There's a white here. By adding a little highlighting in the middle towards this end, dimensional look. I do a lot of bugs. I like butterflies and so this ribbing thing this works great for bees also. This looks like a nun's cap. <laughs> Blending out with my finger. Right. Let's see. Thinking like a blue purple. Let's see. Ultimate blue. Kind of on my palette here. I use artist grade watercolors and I squeeze them into their own little pans and go uh, add a little bit of pink to it. I like the artist grade because you definitely get more pigment. So I'm going to just brush over and you're still going to see the green 
But now you're going to see some blue, bluey purple. Again, this is just like a little light wash to give it a little more color. And then I'll come back in and I'll add a few more highlights. And this little bug guy will be done. it darker as he's going out of the picture here. And since I'm using this color, I'm going to add it back to the face too. Again, you got to move your color around so that it's everywhere. So since I'm using the blue, there's a little on the face here. And you can see how much more depth that gives the face by adding just a little touch of blue. Now, it's just a matter of tightening them up, a little more highlighting, and deciding if you're going to make these like little stripey antennas here. And I want to do something more with those, but I think um, I need to do the background first. I'm just going to add a little white here. Now after I've added those layers, adding the white, which is now turning to green, I need to get all the green off my brush here, but it really adds to the depth. 